Welcome to Electron Online, and just to make sure we fully understand this, how to find the distance to stars using the HR diagram, let's word the question a little bit different and see if we can figure it out. So here we have a star that is known to have 10 times the luminosity of the sun, so on the HR diagram it would appear a little bit higher on the main sequence, 10 times the luminosity of the sun, the sun being equal to 1. Its apparent magnitude is 6.2. How far is the star from us? So at first you go, wow, that's, uh, that's kind of different. How do I do that? And then you go back to the basic and saying, for me to determine the distance of stars, I need to know both the apparent magnitude and the absolute magnitude. Since I was given the apparent magnitude, I first have to find the absolute magnitude. So what is the absolute magnitude? Well, since it's compared to the magnitude of the sun, let's go ahead and we know that the absolute magnitude of the sun, the magnitude of the sun, is equal to 4.83. Of course, that's a plus 4.83, not a minus. We don't have that bright of a star that we live nearby. And uh, then we realize that the change in the intensity is equal to 2.512 raised to the change in the magnitudes. All right, so we are given the change in intensity. We know that's a difference of 10, so we can say that 10 is equal to 2.512 raised to the difference in the magnitudes. And now if we take the log of both sides, we can say that the log of 10 is equal to the log of 2.512 raised to the delta m. And of course, uh, we can then take the delta m and put it in front of the log. So we can say the log of 10 is equal to the delta m times the log of 2.512. And finally, the delta m, therefore, is equal to the log of 10 divided by the log of 2.512. Now we get a calculator out. Okay, so we have a 10, take the log of that, of course that should be 1, it's 1, divided by 2.512, uh, take the log of that, and that would be 2.5. All right, so that means the difference in the magnitudes between the sun and that star, and that's the absolute magnitude, is 2.5. So actually I probably want to write a big M because we're looking for the difference in the absolute magnitudes. So since the Sun is 4.83 and this one is brighter, then the magnitude of the star in question will be equal to 4.83 minus the difference in magnitude because it's a brighter star, it's going to be smaller, minus 2.5. And so that means that the absolute magnitude of the star is equal to this minus this, which would be 2.33. And of course, that still be a plus. So now we know the apparent magnitude and the absolute magnitude of the star. Now we're ready to find the distance. Because now what we can do is find the difference in the intensity between this and this. Now let's take, let's make a picture of what's really going on here so we have a full understanding of how to solve that. So we're observing the star from the Earth. So here we are on the Earth observing the star. Here's 10 parsecs. And at 10 parsecs, the star has the absolute magnitude as brightness. So there, that's where the apparent and the absolute would be the same. So if we place the star at 10 parsecs, it, will, it would appear to be a 2.33 magnitude star. So here we can say, here's the star. And at 10 parsecs, the magnitude is equal to a plus 2.33. Now, it appears to us, from wherever it is, to have a magnitude of 6.2, which is dimmer. That means it must be farther away. If it looks dimmer, it will be farther away. So the apparent magnitude is equal to a plus 6.2, farther away. Now the whole question is, how much farther than 10 parsecs? How far is it away? Well, the first thing we do is find the difference in the intensity between the star's intensity if it's at 10 parsecs and the star's intensity when it's farther away. So there we go. The, distance, the difference in the intensity is equal to 2.512 raised to the change in the magnitudes, and that would be 2.512 raised to the 6.2 minus 2.33, and so this is equal to 2.512 raised to, that would be um, 4.2, that would be 3.9, 3.87. All right, so again, we grab the calculator, 2.512 raised to the 3.87, and we get 35.3. So the difference in the intensity 
is 35.3 if the star was at 10 parsecs versus the star being there. So in other words, it's going to be 35.3 times dimmer where it actually is than what it would be if it was at a distance of 10 parsecs. Now the final stage, since it's farther away, we can then say that the distance is equal to 10 parsecs times the square root of the difference in the intensity. So this is equal to 10 parsecs times the square root of 35.3. So now we take the square root of that, which is 5.94. So this would be 10 parsecs times 5.94, which means that star is 59.4 parsecs away. And that's again a nice example of how we use the HR diagram to find the distance to stars. No matter how they give it to us, as long as we can figure out the pair magnitude by measuring it and the absolute magnitude by finding the relationship between how bright it is versus another star or how bright it is if we place it at a distance of 10 parsecs. And that's how we do that.